Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So now we have sectioned off everything in the foyer. So the next step is to start painting. Um, the first step was to clean your baseboards and uh, let them dry. Next step is to put the painter's tape down. And the third step is to start the painting. I also went ahead and took the liberty of putting painter's tape down on the floor right underneath the baseboard just to give me some extra security of not putting paint on the floor although this floor is not going to be here but i still want to just do that you don't have to if you want to rip up your floors anyways it's up to you i'm not ripping them up immediately this is a process that we're doing so i want to save it save it as much as i can just for now also i just realized i'm taking the lazy step out instead of me unrolling all of the dropping I'm just going step by step and just sliding this with me. So as I'm painting, I'm going to just slide it down because I don't feel like rolling all of this out. But I will have to roll this all out again when I start that painting up in the ceiling as I was doing here. I am, I am actually finished painting in the foyer. I'm actually not going to um, do anything here at the top because really that's going to be where they're going to put the crown molding. So I really don't care about that. So that's why I painted it the way I did. And just as you saw the crown molding in Kenya's room, it's going to be the same size. So once they put that crown molding up there and it's already going to be painted, my walls will already be painted. I won't have to do anything else. All right. So let's get started with this. Make sure you mix your paint up some before you start to paint. Yeah, I'll be started now. This is actually in my way. I might go and get my uh, the new brush. Because I think this paintbrush is just done for because I did not clean it out properly. I'm just taking my brush and sliding it along the edge up there. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. I'm just going back over it to make sure I don't have any drippings or spills. Then I want to make sure I pull my tape away some because I want to make sure. 
I get the very bottom. And here I just going to dab my brush in it. And I'm going to go. Drag my brush along the bottom. Now this is why I put the tape on the floor because I want to make sure I get the very bottoms as you can see. Now I do. Moving right along. Please go play back in your room. Thank you. painting I'm going back into wherever I left off at the end so like when I stopped here I just went back over it as well and right here I stopped right there I'm gonna go back over that too Now y'all probably saying that's stupid. Why didn't you just open up the drop off? And as I said, you guys, I'm being lazy. Uh, I have my table still behind me. And I got those big behind ladders sitting behind me on the floor. And I'm just really tired of moving stuff back and forth. So I'm not moving it. And this paint is very easy to wipe up on the floor. Um, when I was painting the ceilings, a few stuff, a few paint dropped on the floor, um, got on the floor from the drop cloth being on the floor when I was picking it up, but it was easy to wipe it up with some water. For those of you who did not see the first video, I am using gilt, uh, glidden paint, semi-gloss, and pure white. And I'm using a number two, uh, two inch brush to paint the baseboards. Make 
I'm not a lefty, but. Let me make sure I smooth it out so I don't see any streaks. Here you see me putting Pinterest tape down again. As close as I can to the floor and the baseboard. larger tape so that way if you don't want to use the drop cloth you can get the the larger tape size versus the smaller tape size This is to help ensure that nothing seeps through to the floor. And as long as you're pushing it up to the edge, you should be fine. Pick up where we left off. We're painting.
questions or comments, please put them down below. I'll be sure to answer them as well. I am not a professional with this. I'm just doing it myself. DIYing it. Painting is pretty simple. You don't, it don't take a rocket scientist to do this. All you got to do is put your mind to it. Now, if you don't want to paint, go ahead and paint somebody. Float your own boat. I'm just keeping it real. So the part that I am not doing on my own is that crown molding. I'm paying someone to do that because that is a lot of work. And I just don't want to put forth the effort for that. But I cannot wait to see how all this comes together. made a little boo-boo. Well, play something else, honey. Hey. That's brightening up this space already, y'all. Now, you guys may not see what I'm seeing because of that light picture making it a little dim in here, yellow. Plus, this foyer does not have any light. So, we want to bring some light in, in this area. So, that front door is going to be changed and that's what's going to bring the light in here in this front part. And also, we are changing out that light fixture there as well. So, if y'all know some cool websites where I can get some light fixtures i've been shopping around i want to spend a fortune on it because i done seen some nice cylinders but they like nine a thousand dollars and i'm like oh my gosh i don't want to pay that much for that Oh my gosh, there's a fly in here. Get out of here. Can't stand it when it's spring, summertime. When it starts warming up, now the flies want to come out. Wintertime, there's no flies at all. Okay, just as long as you don't come over here, okay? okay. Stay over there. Okay. I'll be busy. Okay. All right, 
right? So I'm not going to take you guys on this whole entire journey of me painting baseboards. But I just want to come on here and show you guys the gist of what I am doing. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys at that and let you guys see what I have done so far. And then I'm going to go back and wipe this up with some water. But as this dry, when it dry, I'm going to pull the tape off the bottom and the top. But as that dries, this just sets up pretty quickly. I want to say a few hours. Let's give it four hours or so. But of course, this is going to be overnight. But um, I'm going to just leave it as is and make sure I maintain my kids from coming out here. But that's how it looks. Ciao, Bella.